Welcome back to the eighth and final episode of the Anode Filters recovery video. Here is our uh, mixed to black PGMs at the bottom of the speaker. And unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit of a disappointment here. I had to make a judgment call. Uh, the amount of material here is just not going to be enough to justify a full refining. So what I'm going to have to do is get it down into this container and we'll save it for a future video probably when we go to do the stock pot series the next stock pot and it's coming up when we go to do that next stock pot series what we'll do is we'll add this uh, mixed black PGMs into that series and get a complete refining I've got a small glass capillary tube here I'm gonna use it to uh, prod the metal down into my container here Here's our mixed black PGM powders that we recovered from the anode filters. And uh, like I said, we'll set this aside and we'll throw this in with the stock pot refining the next time we do the stock pot. Now we're going to harvest the silver crystal out of our silver cell. I'm going to disconnect the cathode electrode connection here just let it fall down into this dish here's a look at the high purity silver crystal in the bottom of our silver cell that should be about 1.5 kilos of high purity silver crystal. Now what I'll do is uh, carefully pour off the used electrolyte. I plan on using this a second time. So we're going to collect it in this large beaker here so we can reuse it. Here's a look at the pure silver crystals. It actually looks like snow in there. All right, look at this one, man. This is, that's really something there, man. Look at that thing. It's just beautiful. All right, this is the best crystal in the whole batch, the most unusually shaped, and it is quite spectacular. So what I'm going to do, is we're going to put this in a clean beaker and uh, fill it with some water. And what we'll do is offer this one for sale separately on my eBay site. Beautiful, just beautiful. Look at that thing, man. Here's a close up of some of the pure silver crystal. And I noticed some other nice, unusually shaped pure silver crystals down in this batch. Now what we'll do is I've got a plastic spatula that I bought at Walmart and we're just going to use it to scrape the pure silver crystal off of the inside of the stainless steel bowl. 
just going to go all the way around and get it all scraped down into the center of the bottom of that bowl. As I was scraping down the crystals off the inside of that bowl, I spotted another nice, beefy, big, chunky, pure silver crystal here. So what we'll do is we'll rinse this one off with some distilled water. And I'm going to add it to the beaker. And we're going to set this one aside and offer this one for sale on my eBay site as well. Now we're going to transfer the pure silver crystal into a clean beaker and get it ready for further processing. Pour the uh, electrolyte off of the silver crystal down into this uh, container here and try to recover as much of that as I can we're going to reuse the electrolyte a second time I'm going to add some distilled water and we'll start rinsing the electrolyte off of the pure silver crystals These are some pieces of copper that I've cut them to uh, small chunks. That's copper pipe. And I've got a couple of them down in here. And I've been using plastic buckets to cement out my uh, silver. I just have so much of it that I don't, I quit using beakers. There's a piece of copper pipe right there. There's another one in here. And uh, so what I'll do now is I'll pour the rinse water from the uh, pure silver crystal down in here and what will happen is any remaining electrolyte in here will cement out on these pieces of copper. Right, I'm going to add some more distilled water what I'll do is I'll just keep rinsing this uh, silver crystal over and over until I get all the electrolyte off of it. And I'll pour it into my cementation bucket here. And we'll cement it out on those pieces of copper and recover any remaining silver from the electrolyte that clings to it. What I do after I've got all the electrolyte rinsed off of there is uh, I put it in a clean corningware casserole dish and dry it off bone dry and uh, I'm not going to do that right now what we'll do is just submerge this in water and let it soak in distilled water and then as I need it for my cementation bucket I pour this water off into the cementation bucket to dilute the silver nitrates that's going into the cementation bucket and then I'll add some more distilled water to this pure silver crystal. And after I do that about six times, all the electrolyte will be off of here. And then we can dry it out and measure it up and weigh it up. Here's a sneak peek at the jeweler's carpet and uh, sweepings that we got from underneath his workbench. And uh, as soon as I complete part eight here of the uh, anode filters I'm gonna get busy on this and try to get this uh, video completed in a couple days or so here's all the products of this uh, silver cell anode filter recovery and refining here's our little button of gold that we got and it's got uh, my name stamped on it there it's about nine grams We'll offer that up for sale. Uh, we've got the platinum group metals here in this container. 
probably two or three grams worth of uh, mixed black platinum group metals, mostly palladium with a little platinum. Back here, the chunks in this filter from the last video from part seven, someone's saying that might be some uh, of the other platinum group metals that I'm not familiar with, maybe some iridium and rhodium. We'll hang on to these. And then I've got a whole bunch of silver that we uh, dissolved out of those filters. It's in this container here. And what I do with that, I'm going to add that silver right down into this bucket. And we'll cement out all the silver powder in here. And then we'll recover the silver out of there and I'll melt it up and run it through the silver cell. And finally, we have these uh, nice big, nicely formed silver crystals. And I'll put those for sale on my eBay site, list them individually. They're about two inches long or so and uh, well I guess this will do it for the uh, anode filters refining video we got some gold we got some platinum group metals and I showed you how I got the silver out of here so this will conclude the anode filters recovery and refining video part 8 and this will be the final video for the series thank you for watching